Okay, so I've decided that this is officially the worst place to film ever, but, um, oh well. For right now, this is just gonna have to do with, uh, beautiful scenery my way. There's like at least three trees right there, but pretty much just traffic in the background. It's the best I can do. I recently watched um, Naraman's annual survey, and I think it's the first time that I watched it and considered like, hey, I could do this survey, probably. Here I am doing the survey. But I didn't write down the questions. Question number one was, what's your biggest fear? Surface fear. The darkness. I'm scared of the dark. Not necessarily the dark, but what's in the dark. It freaks me out. There could be a bear. There could be a man waiting to kill you. There could be a hole that you could just fall into and die. You don't know because it's dark. It is very scary not being able to see. My deep down fear is definitely having everyone that I love in my life die before I do. I've written a poem about that and it's called uh, Daisies Are My Enemy. And hey, maybe I'll put it in the thing below. What's that thing called? Description thing? Uh, eh, I. Okay, well I'll put it there. Maybe. Description box? Why can't I not think of this right now? Let me just fix my fall crown. I know. It broke. I'm gonna fix it after my video. Laziness. Oh well. Anyways, um... I can't. I can't. Do I have a leaf in my hand? I think I do. I'm just going to leaf it there. <laughs> this is my fall crown. Well, let's say I put it on the crown of my head, where a crown would usually go, and then I took little tiny pieces of hair, and uh, just that framed my face, and I just tucked it in the back of the crown. This was not supposed to be a tutorial video, but bonus. How's it look, guys? Look all right? I tried. I just took, you know, those blades of grass that kind of flow in the wind. Really long ones. There's some over there, but I don't feel like turning the camera around, so. The long ones that could slice you if you're not careful. The really, really long ones. And they're not blades of grass, they're like plants. They're kind of just like, pfft. Anyways, you take, I took three and I braided them and I took like tiny things of leaves, like a little ones that weren't uh, stiff and I braided that in and then I just took leaves um, that reminded me of fall and kind of tucked them in the, the braid and uh, it turned out, turned out pretty good. I figured everyone was doing um, flower crowns because it was like spring and summer and now that it's fall we can do fall crowns. I've never worn a f crown in public before um, but it's doing, it's doing pretty good so far. Okay sorry Starbucks but I ordered this cool lime refresher and I don't really like it. The hibiscus berry one Oh my god, go get it. It's so delicious. There's blackberries floating in it, and when I first got it, I was like, what is in my drink? But they're blackberries, and they were so good. But the lime really tastes like lime sugar, and I don't really like it. But I paid $3 for it, so buying it, or I mean, ugh, that's what I mean. I mean, bleh. Oh god. I love Washington. I'm so glad I'm here. Ooh. Sorry, I just kicked you under the table. Did you feel it? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I recently got Twitter on my phone. Guess who's gonna be addicted to that? Okay, next question. What's the best idea you've ever had? Yeah, I'm gonna go for, my best idea would be actually doing this YouTube thing because um, I wanted to do it ever since um, Mitchell Davis started his videos. It took me five years to get the courage to upload a video, but I'm proud of myself that I actually started, and hopefully you guys are enjoying these. Otherwise, I'm not doing this to stare at myself all day. Editing, I mean. 
and making videos. I can see me right now. Anyways, what was the next question? Something about your parents embarrassing you? My parents are wonderful people. Well, I'll just say. And hopefully they watch my videos. Otherwise, I love my mom and dad dearly. And I think that I don't think they've ever done anything like terribly embarrassing where it was just like oh my god this one time i don't know they both make jokes where they're really really funny but sometimes they're like way too far sometimes they just make things awkward with their jokes like you're like Haha. oh my god and then with the friend that's with me i'm just like they're not this isn't they're not usually like this <laughs> i don't know what's gotten into them i think they're on drugs today and that's it <laughs> they are too good to me um I feel like there's another question, but I have no idea what that question is. Oh, uh, when did you first um, learn that Santa wasn't real? And I, it was honestly way too late. Like, I think I had inklings, like, you know, for a couple years that, like, this probably isn't real. But I would not let myself think those thoughts. Like, I, would, I was so not ready to not believe in Santa. So I just like pushed all the bad thoughts out, which is good, you know, that's a good thing to do, good habit to just push, push out the bad thoughts. But one day, and I was in like, I don't know, sixth grade, seventh grade, I was 11, I don't know, something around too late, I was just, it was too old. I think it started with the tooth fairy actually, because I had lost a tooth and I put it under my pillow and it stayed there for like two days or something and my mom was like I don't know saying goodnight I think I was just like oh my tooth's still under the pillow she was like oh I forgot and I was like what because I still believed I was full believer at this point in Easter Bunny Tooth Fairy Santa the whole shebang I believed in the entire enchilada like the whole magical force um so Tooth Fairy my dreams were dashed and then she was like, well, I might as well tell you, Easter Bunny's not real, Santa Claus isn't real either. Well, then, there goes that, magic gone. And then I asked her to keep writing the presents from Santa Claus. <laughs> I think that's all the questions. Now I'm worried that I missed one. I have a really strong feeling that you guys should try and make your own fall crown, whatever that means to you. Whether you want to like knit one, or make one out of candles, or dump a pumpkin spice latte on your head in a crown form, do it. I really want to see what you guys come up with. And you should either tweet me a picture or you could Facebook me a picture. It'll be in the thingy, in the the fun box at the bottom of the, I can't remember what it's called. You guys should see my outfit. It's too cute not to share. If you guys like this video, then like this video. <laughs> if you guys love fall as much as I do, or more, hit the like button. And if you're just itching to wear a sweater, hit subscribe. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I just got addicted to it.